Hi, I'm Faith. I'm Zach. And this is Poppy. And today is the first episode of a several video series about a cool new project we're starting. And we can play our cool intro. So I have a 1994 Geo Tracker. It's a vehicle we've had a whole lot of fun with. Uh, it was on Mighty Tarmod's second channel. You might have seen it in one of their segments there. And it's just been great. It was a lot of fun in the snow with four wheel drive. It's lifted, it had some big tires, and it's a convertible. So great for all seasons. But one thing that the Geo Tracker is not so good for was hauling supplies from Home Depot. So we've been doing a lot of house projects. We realized we might need something bigger. Yeah, so we started looking online to see what we could find. And we come across this really cool truck. It's a 1986 Ford F-250 and it supposedly only has 36,000 miles. Yeah, so we contact the guy who's selling it, go take a look at it, and it's this big old kind of rusty truck that Supposedly, it was a barn find. Um, some guy had it in 1994 and he lost his license in a DWI. And when he did, he parked it in a barn and supposedly there it sat for like 25 years. So this kid, I guess he's like the guy's nephew's friend kind of deal. They pulled it out of the barn last year and tried to get it running but didn't put the time into it to really fix it up. So when we went out there, they got it started and it moved, but the brakes were frozen solid. Nothing was really working too well on it. So we went and looked at some other stuff after that. We thought maybe this is a big project and we don't need that, but. But ultimately we just kept circling back to it because it's just so cool and we're suckers for projects, I guess. We checked it out as best we could, but ultimately we just had to kind of take a chance on it. So we made him a pretty low ball offer, went and negotiated a little bit. So call it a tow truck because it was a little, little rusty and it wasn't in the kind of situation where you can put your front plate on and drive it home. No, definitely no not. No brakes or anything like that. So we got it towed home and then dropped off in the front driveway. So we've got this huge truck full of gigantic tires on top of another huge truck pulling up into our quiet suburban neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, all of our neighbors literally came out onto their porches and were just staring at what is this thing that our crazy neighbors brought home. <laughs> yeah, so we got this giant like farm beater truck dropped off in our front yard and then it was time to list and sell the tracker and get to work on the F-250. So the first thing we did is clean this sucker out. It was just so full of trash, for lack of a better word. Yeah. Just mud and dirt and leaves and just lots of nasty stuff. So our first step was to haul out all of the super swampers. Then we were just clearing out all of the dirt and scrubbing out the bed. Um, in doing so, we realized that there's actually a full um, plastic cover on the inside. We really weren't sure what the bed itself looked like. So we pulled off the plastic cover um, and actually to our surprise, the bed itself was in awesome shape. Um, there was very, very minimal rust, um, all surface, no holes through, um, and that was really encouraging. Yeah, so it was kind of just like overall trying to take stock of what we bought, cleaning it out. The interior is fantastic, it's like almost pristine. There's mouse nests all over. Anywhere that a mouse can make a nest, there has been mouse nests. But other than that, it was pretty good. The engine's kind of dirty and it's not really running too well, but it's a pretty cool engine. It's a Ford 351 Windsor and it's a 5.8 liter V8. It's the last year that it was sold with a carburetor, so that's kind of cool. It's one of the last carbureted engines you can get. So, I have no idea what I'm doing with a carburetor, though. All right, so that wraps up day one of our new truck project. We spent a lot of time cleaning, but that's just the beginning. Yeah, we get up to a whole lot more with this project, so follow along if you want to see some more cool stuff like this.
don't know. Is that think, bad? No, I think that works. Okay. Can we go inside and eat mac and cheese now? Yes, mac and cheese.